If you're a new worm bin owner and worried about going on vacation, don't be. We're gonna put those fears to rest on today's episode of Coffee and Compost. My name is Steve Churchill, and this is the Urban Worm Company. A really common question I get is, hey Steve, I'm leaving town, what can I do to keep my worms alive for a few weeks? Can the worms survive? The answer is yes, your worms are gonna survive just fine when you're away and they might even thrive. Worms, especially red wigglers, are very self-sufficient and far more resilient than we give them credit for. You're not gonna be starving your worms by leaving them for a couple weeks or even a couple months. Here's the thing, they consume organic matter and their own poop is organic matter, so they happily reprocess it, even multiple times. A new worm bin will also likely benefit from a little, we'll call it benign neglect. New worm farmers wanna open their worm bins every day and root around to see how things are going. Try to avoid doing this if you can in most cases, because the worms just get disturbed, they are not gonna breed if you keep moving them around, and it's just not that helpful. So in a way, going on vacation is probably a good thing for your worms. Now over time, you might notice your worms getting smaller and their reproduction may slow down, but even after a few months, they'll still be kicking. When you come back, expect the top of your vermicompost to be very flat and sort of fuzzy like the top of a pool table, but you'll scrape just below the surface and I just about guarantee you're going to see plenty of worms just below the surface of your worm compost. Any decline in the worm bin will be very slow and the good news is that your worms will bounce back to their former selves once you return. So before you jet off to the Isle of Capri, here's what I'd do. Give the worms a larger than normal feeding. Don't overdo it though. We don't want to risk heating up the worm bin with excessive decomposition and ensure that worm bin is either indoors or protected from extreme temperatures. Real quick guys, if you're enjoying this video and want me to make more of them, please like this video, hit subscribe, and click that little bell to let you know every time we release a new video. Now back to the topic. So if you're a worm bin owner planning a vacation, take a deep breath. Your worms won't starve or stage a revolt in your absence. Just give them a little extra to eat and keep them in a comfortable environment. And hey teachers, this goes for you too. I've got a lot of teachers using the urban worm bag in their classroom and they always worry about starving their worms over the summer break. You're going to be fine too. Just keep that bin inside the classroom and away from windows where the sun might kind of bake the worms and you'll be all set. The worms are going to be far more sensitive to the lack of moisture than they will be to the lack of new foods. So dehydration, not starvation, is a bigger problem. So when you get back from summer vacation, rehydrate your worms with a spray bottle on a mist setting and then just start to feed normally. The worms are going to adjust and rebound and you're going to just just continue your composting journey successfully. All right, guys, I've got a great resource for you to download right now. It's the PDF version of our ultimate guide to vermicomposting, where we cover anything from the basics of vermicomposting, how to start and maintain a worm bin, all the way up to the financial opportunities in vermicomposting and more. Just click this little link above my left shoulder and you can sign up to get that guide immediately. So again, a few weeks or even a couple months away from home is likely not a killer for your worm bin. It may even do better while you're gone. All right, that's it. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.